Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to Season 2 of my channel. For the past three months of doing YouTube, I gotta admit it does have its highs and lows, but I'm still glad I decided to create my channel in the first place. Throughout Season 1, I did manage to come across a lot of interesting games, and I'm going to be talking about what I like and don't like about the ones that I've managed to finish. I'm also going to be announcing upcoming games that I will be playing in Season 2 as well. So let's get started! Starting off on the list is For Honor. Now, I don't normally enjoy fighting games, but this one is one of the exceptions. I love the concept of choosing to be a knight, viking, or even a samurai. In fact, if you go on the multiplayer, there's plenty of heroes you can main as. The selection on this game is a plus for me. What I don't like about For Honor is Apollyon, the villain in this game. Don't get me wrong, I love how For Honor showed how evil and crazy she can be, but I feel like she's the token evil character that's there just because. Story-wise, there's a lot of unanswered questions as to how did she become this way, and what drove her to be the way she is. Plus, her personality is just evil this and evil that. There's no gray areas or any instances that showed a different side of her to make her more humanized. How do you want me to care about this character if she's just so two-dimensional with her evil persona? The Order, 1886. What can I say? I am a sucker for period pieces. So I love the concept of having the story take place back in the 1800s. The clothing, the environment, the culture. This game made me feel nostalgic for an era that I never even lived through. However, what made me annoyed about the game is the endless amount of plot twists. Oh, we're fighting werewolves? Let's add in a little razzle dazzle of also needing to fight vampires as well. The enemies that we're fighting, guess what? You're actually working for the bad guys. <gasps> one of the knights is a werewolf? By the way, one of the knights knew all along. Like, it never ends. Mortal Kombat 11. Another fighting game that is also another exception. I mean, do I really need to spell it out as to why I love this game? Ah, uh, it's... It's like... Seeing these fatalities is poetic justice for me. It's like all of my wildest dreams come true. Yes, you get fatality, you get fatality, we all get fatality! <laughs> nice. What I don't like about the game is the story itself. I mean, yeah, you get to fight Kronika since she's trying to undo history, but ever since they add in the Aftermath expansion, where you have to not only go through some of the same scenarios again, but having to undo history at the end of the day, it's like, okay, whatever, at this point, you're just dragging the story along, so it's not really that interesting anymore. Now that these games are completed, here are some of the upcoming games you'll be seeing in Season 2. Thank you for watching, this is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.